ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Vapor Rhino. Today we'll be cleaning a family golf cart that's been badly neglected. You're going to get to see us cleaning the battery compartment, the body, the glove box area, the vinyl cover, clean the wheels, and restore the leather seats. Whether you're looking to detail your own motorcycle, car, golf cart, other vehicles, or you manage a country club, a golf course, a camping resort, or you just want to add the latest cutting-edge cleaning technology to your new or existing detail business, Vapor Rhino Dry Vapor Steam Systems have something to offer you. Vapor Rhino Systems boast some 95% dry vapor steam output, and many of our systems offer hot soap and hot water injection on demand. They also push some of the highest PSIs in the industry, running at as high as 145 PSI. More power than you want? No worries. Our systems are 100% adjustable. With a Vapor Rhino, you can use as little as one gallon of water per hour. Avoiding big wet messes, avoiding the need to transport and connect a large water supply, avoiding drought and other water restrictions. All this while offering your customers a 100% environmentally friendly service. 100% portable, 100% effective. Vapor Rhino, the ultimate mobile detailing machine. Okay, let's get started. For this particular cleaning job, we'll be using only six items. Basically, what you see here is all you're going to need to get the job done. Of course, you can add to this your existing detailing tools, be it brushes, sponges, microfiber mitts, picks, or whatever you like. And you can use them in combination with your Vapor Rhino dry vapor steam cleaner. The first step in any detailing job is to clear the area. So you want to get rid of all the loose debris, whether it be pens, pencils, candy wrappers, what have you. Normally you'd use your vacuum and or an air compressor to do this job. The beautiful thing about the high PSI Vapor Rhino systems is that you can use the high PSI to actually blast clean uh, all the nooks and crannies and crevices, knock out dirt and loose material. In a few seconds you can see us blasting out the trunk and you're going to see the impressive power of the Vapor Rhino in action. It really does a wonderful job in replacing the air compressor in the detailing process. Absolutely beautiful results. Now in the video we're going to be playing today, we, we really filmed a lot of information here from the battery compartments and all of it, so we're going to have to summarize, or summarize a lot of this, and we're going to be moving very, very quickly, so bear with us as we try to give you a lot of information. You can see right there, we just applied some cleaner to the horsehair brush. The beautiful thing about the Vapor Rhino horsehair brushes with their delicate touches, they're very, very densely packed. And if you can take a simple cleanser like 409 or whatever your favorite cleanser may be, spray it into the bristles, it actually holds that soap for a fair amount of time and allows you to distribute it pretty evenly across the surface. Then you come back when you're done and just wipe it clean. But uh, remember that, it's, it's, you can either spray your cleanser directly on the surface, you can put it in your chemical injection system and use it that way, or you can squirt a little on your brush and distribute it that way. It's, either way works very, very well. Moving on to the dashboard, you can see we did the same technique here. We're using the uh, horsehair brush with uh, the detail attachment and a little cleanser on the brush. Now, you could accomplish the same task with just the detail tool shooting the steam out and following up with a cloth. So if you don't want to use a brush, it's, it's not necessary. It's not a required item. Either technique's going to work very well. The, the golf cart we have here, we felt as though it would be ideal just to use the brush. It's, uh, it does speed the job up, and it, it made a very nice presentation. This next clip, we're going to be cleaning the floor pedals here. So what we did is the same thing again, sprayed a little cleanser on the surface using the horsehair brush and the three-hole detail attachment. We're pre-scrubbing the area really quickly with just a little bit of steam, just pulling the trigger a couple of times, and then we're going to full-fledged steam it. When we're done here, you're going to notice I'm going to take that tool off, the, uh, the attachment off the, the gun, and we're going to blast it down with the dry vapor steam. And if you use the, um, the pulsating technique, which is basically just taking the gun and shaking it rapidly, you can do a really wonderful job in blasting off that soap. Right there, you can see it there. We're actually going to play it one more time. I think that's fairly impressive. And that is just the dry vapor steam mode uh, in action. Pop that off. Blast it off. Now the pedal next to it, we're about to hit, we've already pre-scrubbed it, we're about to hit it with a hot water injection. So I'm going to be quiet. If you listen, hopefully you heard that. You can hear the actual water engage. So we hit the button on the gun and we turned on the hot water injection. We blasted the soap right off of there. Now we have the detail attachment without a brush and we're able to get into the nice tight corners, uh, the, the nooks and crannies of the vehicle and clean her up and make it look good. The Vapor Rhino Dry Vapor Steam Cleaning Systems all come with a really fantastic accessory kit with lots of, lots of detail tools and different type of brushes. 
So here we have the floor of the golf cart here, and it's a very, very textured surface with a lot of dirt packed in it. And in a few moments, we'll show you before and after. But um, there's a lot of dirt packed in those grains. So what we want to do is take that brush, and we want to scrub it out. And then what we're going to do after that is we're not just going to wipe it with a cloth. We could, and we could also use the dry steam to knock it off, but we're going to show you the hot water injection in action. And the beautiful thing is, what you're going to see here is how much water is coming out. It's just enough to do the job to rinse, but not too much to flood the area. It's the, the amount of water that comes out of something to be caught in a towel. So the reason we're using the hot water injection here is because this floor is so textured, if we were to try to wipe that dirt off, what would happen is a lot of the dirt would stay in the little valleys of those textures. So this hot water rinse is just what's needed to get that water, the dirt and stuff out of there, to flush it out to make that nice and clean and give a good final presentation. And once we're done rinsing here, uh, using the pulsating technique, shaking your gun, uh, we're just going to wipe it dry. And it came out beautiful. And you can see what it was like before. There's the muddy floor. It pretty much hasn't been cleaned in a couple of years. And uh, the after. Really nice. This next clip, we're going to be cleaning a tire. I want you to notice, after we're done scrubbing, we're going to employ the hot water injection. I'm going to be quiet, and you're going to hear the original audio. But when we go to do the rinsing, listen, you'll hear it kick on, and you'll see how much water actually comes out of the nozzle. Another thing you can do is take your tool right off and use it as a hand brush. It'll work good with just about any of the attachments. Just sometimes that it's practical to do without the wand. And it allows you to give a pre-treatment and spread the chemical. If you choose to use chemical off. Off. Again, it's not necessary to rinse. Use a dry steam. <clears throat> Use the dry steam to knock it off and wipe it with a towel. But if possible, when available, I like to rinse. Clean rag. There you go, clean tire. And you can decal as much or as little as you want. Not bad for a 30 plus year old tire. All right, we're going to be cleaning the vinyl top now, and this has been rolled up for some months, so it's got a lot of hard creases and wrinkles in it, which makes it rather unpleasant to see out of, not to mention the fact it's all splattered and dirty. With the Vapor Rhino Dry Vapor Cleaning System, using the horsehair brush without cleanser, we can do a marvelous job of cleaning off all those water spots, bug spots, and whatever splatters that we have on there from over the months. And But the, the really unique thing about this is, while we're cleaning this, we're taking the wrinkles out of the vinyl cover. Those wrinkles are kind of difficult to see through and make the, the driving experience rather unpleasant. Now you can come in here and clean this top with just simple cleansers and a, and a microfiber towel, but the steam relaxes the vinyl and makes it like new again. It actually makes it so it's nice and clear and pleasurable to drive through. A very wonderful process. Once you're done, just take your microfiber cloth and buff it clean. It just doesn't get any simpler than that. No special chemicals, no cleansers, um, <laughs> nothing really to it, and virtually no water wasted. It's uh, All the water that was used is right there in that little microfiber towel, and it's barely even damp for this little front windshield. It looks good. Next up, we're going to be cleaning one of the batteries in the battery compartment, and uh, for time reasons, we're only going to clean the top of one, but uh, it's a very, very easy process, and you do the whole compartment rapidly. Now watch close as the steam just melts off all this old dried dirt that's just packed on there from about a year worth of driving through mountain trails. Uh, beautiful process, great for electrical components and uh, cleaning battery compartments, working on an engine, degreasing parts. Wonderful, wonderful system. And this is being done right now without any cleansers, without any soaps. Really wonderful. A few more moments, you could detail that entire battery for sides and everything, but we're going to cut it short just so we can move on and show you the rest of the footage we have today. Visit VaporRhino.com for more information. The next footage, we're going to be employing the large triangle brush. This, this brush has multiple ports underneath. That's a lot of steam out really quick and really is a fantastic uh, scrub brush, as well as a handheld steam mop. And we're going to show you the footage with the, uh, the cloth on that using it as a mop in just a second. 
But uh, this brush has multiple position settings. You can set it in a locked fashion, so you have a hard scrubbing action, or you can have a pivot fashion uh, setting, so that you can actually glide it underneath furniture. But look at that. Beautiful, beautiful results. It scrubs nice, lets a nice amount of moisture out, so you can do your job. And now watch this. When we wipe this, this metal's still warm. Watch how fast it dries. This is live time here. It's drying pretty quickly. Uh, and so, so I find that very, very impressive. And again, here's a quick shot of what it would look like in a steam mop setting, just putting the... Uh, the cloth on there. Great, great tool. Very versatile. I love this footage here. Right now we're cleaning the front axle. This may not be part of every detailing job, but we want to show you it's possible. This axle is covered with grease from the grease fitting as well as a bunch of mud and other gunk. So we sprayed a little cleanser on there. We got our little detail brush and we got in there and worked it and uh, it, I think it came in very, very clean. With a few more minutes work, you could clean that whole chassis if you wanted to. Beautiful results. Very fast. A little bit of cleanser, a little bit of steam in a brush, and look at that. And we went ahead and put the long detail attachment on, and we cleaned the inside of the wheel, and you can see the, the, the results here. Now, the rest of the wheel is not clean, but to do the rest, you just want to move it forward. Here's a quick shot of the hot water injection, rinsing off some soap we have in the front. Now, for most of the jobs you're going to do, you're going to use this mode here. It's just a dry vapor steam. This is just dry steam. We're blasting off the, uh, the hood of the golf cart here, which, again, hasn't been cleaned in about a year. You can actually see there's a raccoon footprint on that thing. And uh, we're just going to buff it down. And, and boy, that, it cleans so fast and so easy. Can you imagine if you had a car or a vehicle come into your shop and you're doing the outside? All you have to do is run that uh, steamer over it, blast off the heavy stuff right there, and wipe her down. Very simple process. Beautiful, beautiful results. This is really wonderful footage we're about to jump into here. This is a vinyl seat. I actually thought it was leather at first. I'm pretty sure it's vinyl. Uh, we have another video on leather seat cleaning. It's exactly the same process and the same exact results. So you notice we sprayed a little cleanser on there. Uh, we were told by a company that 409 cleaner works very good, but there are a lot of different cleansers out there that you could use. Um, we're using a product similar to that here. And look at that. Just a little bit of effort and boom. It's been restored, and I don't think that seat's ever been cleaned in any real way. Now, you notice when we spray this cleanser on here, I'm going to hit it with the triangle brush first. This is the horsehair brush with the three-hole detail attachment. By the way, that's important. Do not use the single-hole detail attachment on this. Um, so you notice the dirt's not coming off, and at first when I scrub, the dirt's not coming off. But back in that corner, I'm going a little slower. I'm getting the, the steam a chance to heat up the fabric or the material, and you're starting to see it come off. Now, on this side, going even slower, letting that heat do more of the work, and boom, it starts melting right off, coming off really, really rapidly now. So as soon as you loosen up the pores of the leather and or the vinyl, um, it just releases the dirt. With the right chemical agi and, and the right amount of agitation, you can really, really make a wonderful presentation very, very rapidly. Wonderful results. The side closest to us on the, on the monitor here, we had uh, sample cleaned before we shot the video. The side that we're cleaning now is the original dirty uh, seat. Beautiful, remarkable results. Um, this particular application is pretty much worth the price of uh, admission alone. But the Vapor Rhino systems are incredibly versatile, great for the entire car wash or auto detailing of the interior, good for boats, motorcycles, and golf carts, and a whole host of other things. And let's not forget the fact that they're used in a janitorial business. Uh, you can use them for cleaning commercial kitchens and restaurants. You can use them for cleaning bathrooms, cafeterias, and so on. Thanks for watching, folks. This is Vapor Rhino signing off. Remember, for success, you need either inspiration or desperation. Get inspired now. Make your business goals a reality today. I believe you can make it happen if you have faith and take action. Remember, work hard, live free.